Good morning, welcome to lecture number 9, message box. Until now we did sometimes the message box things to display some data for the diagnostics and we use this just to display some text. The message box function has more functionality but in WinCC and the SCADA environment you shouldn't use this message box inside the production mode. It's not safe. Every time you, this message box appear is the pop-up and the operator don't see this, uh, all scripting are freezed. So if you have 1000 scripting and the message box appear on your background of your SCADA runtime, all functions are stopped are uh, freezed so it's not so good if you have message boxes inside the production mode because you can have uh, a lot of problems with that after the restart of SCADA of, of course the things will run again but sometimes operators don't see this and you should use other functions like the pop-up windows with the picture windows or the HIME trace, etc. So I will show you this message box, but only to describe this functionality to make the diagnostics better for you. So first of all, we use the message box on the button and this message box was something like that. A message box and a string. String text is here. And after we run this script, we will have some data on the pop-up window. Okay, string text is here. This is the first. If you use for the diagnostic, you can have many, many times this message box. And uh, after I said all scripting are freezed, so you can make the step-by-step -step diagnostic things with just message boxes. So you say one, two, three, four steps and you see which step is not working. Okay, but the message box has also possibilities to work with some parameters. The message box has the string this is the text inside. After this, we have also possibility to change the pop-up window, how it's look. For example, we can give the VB OK cancel parameter. And for example, VB question. This is the how this window will look like. Under this video, I will give you all parameters you can use on the message box and you can always find this all functions inside the Microsoft. But let's make some test. And the third option is the title of pop-up. I'm changing the mm, letters to make sure that you understand that I'm doing this for your message boxes. <clears throat> And uh, the VB OK cancel, it's the choose for the operator that we can select OK or cancel. So we have to have the result. Our result should be uh, some kind of data. Tag and right now, no error. Let's try to run the script. Now our pop up window should look different. As you see, I have the title, title of pop-up change. I have the question mark and I have the string text is here. Now I have OK or cancel. I will put the cancel. And what about the choosing this? The result, we can have the HIME trace. And this trace, mm, we can have the result. And after we click the result, OK or cancel, we will have the data inside the HIME trace. Selected one, selected second. This kind of parameters are used also for um, 
displayed some uh, options about which button is the default for our application and we can say that plus vb default for example one button and we said that for our application the default option so if operator just click the enter functions it will automatically detect button one let's try this As you see, this is the button one. After we click enter, we have one, but let's make the button second. So it will be the cancel option. It's cancel. This is the, the other options of, for this. And this kind of things ha can have more and more uh, options. And the message box has a lot of options, but as I said, don't use this in the production mode and in the diagnostic mode, the message box is enough for you to check your scripting is running or not. It's working how you want to. Mm, yeah, I think for now it's enough to understand how message box is running. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's go to next lectures.